Hi, Nursery One. How are you doing? How was your Shavuot? You have a good time? Miss you. Nursery One, I wanted to talk to you today about our feelings, about how we feel. We feel lots of different emotions, right? Sometimes we feel happy. Sometimes we feel sad. You know, I felt very happy the other day when I got to go play outside. It made me very happy. I felt very happy when my mommy gave me a hug. But the other day I felt sad when I fell and I got a boo-boo on my knee. That made me feel very sad. Can you tell me something, a time you felt happy or sad? But you know, we have more emotions than that. There's also, there's angry, mad, right? There's jealous. There's so many different emotions that we are going to talk about. Today I want to talk to you about sometimes. Avi, this boy, his name is Avi. Avi, he also has lots of emotions I'm feeling. And sometimes Avi misses someone. Did you ever miss someone? Let's see. Let's see how Avi felt. Sometimes Avi misses someone. Last year, Avi was in Mora Sarah's nursery school. When Mora Sarah's nursery school, there were yellow chairs. In Mora Sarah's nursery school, there were round tables. In Mora Sarah's nursery school, Avi had a hook with a picture of an elephant over it where he used to hang his bag. And in Mora Sarah's nursery school, there is also Mora Sarah, who Avi knew so well. There's Mora Sarah, who Avi liked so much. Every morning, Avi used to run happily to the nursery school, and Mora Sarah would say to him, Good morning, Avi! <laughs> that would make me feel very happy to get such a nice good morning. Every day, Avi would play with the toys, color with the crayons, and Mora Sarah, um, and eat on the blue plate in Mora Sarah's nursery school. Then one day, there was a party in Mora Sarah's nursery school. At the end of the party, everyone sang, Goodbye, Mora Sarah. Goodbye. Mora Sarah said, Now it will be summer vacation. After the summer, you all of you will go to a new place for big children to kindergarten. Summer vacation passed, and Avi went to Morley's kindergarten. The chairs in Morley's kindergarten were not yellow, they were blue. The tables in Morley's kindergarten were not round, they were square. In Morley's kindergarten, there were different children and different toys. There was even a different teacher, Morley. On the first day, Mommy stayed with Avi in kindergarten until he got used to it, but Avi was sad. He didn't know the kindergarten, he didn't know the orange plates, and he didn't find a hook with a picture of an elephant hanging his lunch bag on. Avi missed Morisara from last year. He missed her stories and her songs. He missed the yellow chairs and the round tables. Mommy, can I go to Morisara's nursery school? Avi asked his mommy. But mommy said it was impossible. She said there were new children in Morisara's nursery school. There were very little children, not big ones like Avi. Avi didn't stop thinking about Morisara and her nursery school. She had such happy, he had such happy memories that Avi really wanted to see Morisara again. He missed her. That afternoon, Avi put all the dolls in a row and sang them the songs he remembered from last year. The dolls were little. They could still sing songs from Marasara's nursery school. For a minute, Avi felt that he wanted to be little again. He wanted to go to Marasara's nursery school again. He loved her so much, but he couldn't. He was big already. Too bad Marasara couldn't teach big kids, too. Avi missed her so much. Avi thought and thought. Hmm. Suddenly, he had an idea. He ran to his drawer and took out a picture of him and Marasara from the party last year. He asked his mommy to hang the, the picture near his bed. Avi is already big, and now he is in Morley's kindergarten, but he can still look at the picture from Mora Sarah's nursery school. See that? Avi, he was a big boy, right? Avi missed someone. That was how he felt. Can you tell me about a time that you missed someone? Did you miss maybe your friend, or your grandma, or your aunt? What did you miss? Can't wait to hear.